Hey everybody, Dan Holstein here with another Rev Up Your Business video and today it's part two in our five part series on profitability and how to grow the profit in your business. Our specific topic for today is break even and also break even with extra profit. Now, break even is a funny topic. When, when I ask business owners what their break even is, often they tell me their fixed costs. But what we have to remember is that break even is not your fixed costs. Your break even is actually a lot higher. Um, we pay for our fixed cost with our gross profit, the money that we actually get to keep out of every sale. So we need to know what our gross profit margin percentage is in order to calculate our break even. If you're not sure what your gross profit margin percentage is, go back to part one um, in our video series here where we describe exactly how to calculate what your gross profit margin is. So let's get into a couple of definitions. How do we actually calculate break even if it's not your fixed costs? Well, your break even is actually your fixed costs divided by your gross profit margin percentage. So FC over your gross profit margin. So let's do an example. Let's say for example, your monthly fixed cost is $10,000 and your gross profit margin is 30%. That means you're keeping 30 cents out of every dollar of sales. That's gonna be your gross profit that you will pay your fixed costs with. So 10,000 divided by 30 is $33,333. What that means is that if you sell 33,000 and change, uh, in sales at a gross profit margin of 30%, you'll have $10,000 left over. Then you pay your fixed cost of $10,000 and you're left with nothing. That's your break even. You didn't lose money, but you also didn't make money. So let's see what happens if we change our gross profit margin or if we change our fixed costs. So let's have a look here first. We'll keep our fixed costs the same at 10,000, but what if you're able to increase your gross profit margin to 35%? Now, all we need to do is to sell $28,571 worth of sales at 35% to net out our 10 grand to break even. So that's a difference of about $4,700. So isn't that interesting? Just an increase from 30 to 35% in your profitability and your gross profit margin percentage means you only have to sell $4,700 less in order to break even. That's a substantial amount of, of savings. Uh, or of sales that you don't need to make in order to break even. So let's look at what happens when we find a way to reduce our fixed costs. So we're gonna go back to our 30% again that we started with. And let's say instead of 10,000 per month, you've gone through your, your expenses and you found a few savings here and there, totaling $500. So now your fixed costs are $9,500. Your gross profit margin is 30%. That means you only have to sell 31,667 in order to break even. With a $10,000 break, uh, fixed cost, you have to sell 33 and change. With a $9,500 fixed cost, you only have to sell 31 and change. So isn't that interesting too? If you can find some ways to save on your fixed cost, you don't have to sell as much to break even. It sounds very logical, but when you, when you run your own numbers, you'll be able to see exactly how much savings or how much less you need to do in sales in order to hit your break even. So now let's say, what if we could increase um, our profitability and have a reduced um, fixed cost. So let's say we're at $9,500 of fixed cost and a 35% gross profit margin. So we've done our homework on our, on our expenses and we found a way to increase our, our, um, our profitability a little bit more. And we're gonna get into that in our next video. Um, you only have to sell 27,000, 143 to break even. So if we look at the difference just right here, it's about $6,000 different. That's a lot of sales you don't need to make. Right? So think of what you could do with that extra time and those resources that are going into those sales. Maybe you could, you could do more sales, but you'd have even more profitability um, way past your break even. So let's, let's shift gears over to what do we do to increase our, our profits? We break even's okay, but we need profitability in the business. So the beep, the break even with extra profit, here's the formula. It's our fixed cost plus a budget for profit divided by our gross profit margin. So just like we have to pay our fixed costs, we're gonna make a decision about how much profit we're absolutely gonna expect out of the business. So fixed cost plus profit divided by gross profit margin, almost exactly the same formula. So if we plug some numbers in, let's say we're back to our $10,000 fixed cost and we want to have an additional $5,000 of profit in the month and we have our prior uh, profit margin of 30%. We have 10,000 plus 5,000, that's 15,000 divided by 30% gives us $50,000. So to earn the extra five grand, we just have to sell $50,000. Make sense? Because we are only keeping 30 cents out of every dollar, so we need to, we need to sell additionally. So what happens if we can increase our, our gross profit margin? Well, we have our 15,000 here, our 10,000 fixed cost plus 5,000 of profit. 
and we have 35% gross profit margin. We've got a healthier profit margin. We only have to sell 42,000 eight and change. So it's just about a $7,000 difference. So you can see how we can get these wild swings in what our sales need to be in order to break even and to earn profit depending on our fixed costs and depending on our gross profit margin. So your homework for this week, if you haven't already done it, go and calculate out what your gross profit margin is on your different products and services so that you can be clear on where your money's really being made and where you're just putting a lot of time and effort for very little profit. And the part two of your homework is to have a look at your expense lines and your profit and loss statement and, and look for savings. So you could find those savings in things such as um, subscriptions for software or magazines or memberships that you're not using. You, uh, you could find it in overcharging and say like your phone bill and things like that. Have a look through. Is there anything that you could get a little savings on? Okay, so that's it for this week. Next week, look forward to seeing you for part three of our five-part series on profitability, where we're going to show you where your best profit margins can be made with the least amount of time and effort. Until then, have a fantastic week, and feel free to reach out if you have any questions on your break-even, on your gross profit margin, or any of the above. Look forward to seeing you next time.